guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about some branding tips for photographers and this is a video that I've wanted to do for a little while. Uh, I think it's really important to have very good branding and marketing for yourself when you are a professional photographer and sometimes it can really make the difference in terms of whether you're getting clients and whether people are seeing your work in the best light possible. So I really do believe that branding helps with that and I think unfortunately sometimes these things kind of get missed. Uh, some of the things I'm going to talk about in this video today. So I really want to highlight some tips around this and I hope you guys will learn something new from it. Before we get into the video today, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor, which is My Signature. My Signature is an online email signature generator providing professional tools and customization options. With easy one-off payments for individuals or subscription options for their pro version, you can easily create a professional email signature for your photography business in minutes. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more during this video, but for now, now, if you're interested in creating your own email signature, then just check out the link in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into our five branding tips for photographers. Number one is having professional photographs of yourself. Now I know that this is not everyone's favorite point because as photographers, a lot of the time we like to be behind the camera. We don't always like to be in front of the camera as is from my experience. Uh, but I think it's really important to have some professional imagery taken of yourself, whether it's in action, taking photos, or whether it's taken in a more relaxed or candid setting, I think it's very important to have those professional images because there's a lot of platforms online where it will require you to have a profile image. And I think especially for things like LinkedIn, for things like your own website bio, and even your social media accounts, it's really important to have that professional image there. And it gives clients a little bit more insight into who you are as a person and your personality. So I think it's really important to have those professional images. They're really, really handy to have for several platforms online and you can really give yourself that professional edge. Number two is having a website. Now, this is another thing that a lot of people don't tend to do these days, and I will always advocate for having your own website. It's really, really important. Having your own website for branding purposes can be really imperative because not only are you able to add your own personal bio, which gives more of a personal insight into who you are once again, it's also important to have a professional area where you can list your contact details for potential clients as well. And of course, on top of all of that, it's most imperative that you do have a place where you can put a professional and curated portfolio. That is one of the biggest tips that I have. And I think one of the biggest things for your branding overall is those three pillars with having a website, a bio for yourself, a professional portfolio, and also a contact page. This all feeds into your branding overall. And I think it's very, very essential to have that these days. A lot of people will push websites to the side these days and instead opt for things like Instagram and Facebook. And while those things and those platforms platforms are great. It's good to have in addition to your own website for many reasons, but especially for branding and marketing yourself. And number three is having your own professional email signature. When you actually think about it, one of the first impressions you'll make with a client directly and personally is usually via email. It's also most likely going to be your main ongoing form of communication with clients. So I recommend creating a professional email signature with my signature. With my signature, you can easily create a customizable email signature for Gmail, Outlook, Apple Mail, and more. The generator allows you to provide information such as your name, business, position, and phone number. It also allows for practical add-ons such as disclaimers, calendar bookings, and personalized messages. You can alter the font size, color, family, and select the background color. You can also add logos, banners, and social media icons as necessary. My signature also has a variety of email templates designed by qualified specialists, which simplifies the process even more. With My Signature, you can choose a plan that's right for you and your business. Their payment plans cater to both individuals and also businesses with staff. For individual photographers, you can choose a one-time payment option for $29, which allows you to create one pro plan signature. You can edit this utilizing the pro features for 24 hours, so there's no need to commit to subscriptions. If you have staff within your photography business and would like to keep consistent branding, across the company, then you can choose between quarterly or yearly subscriptions, depending on the amount of signatures that you need. If you'd like to get started with creating your own email signature, you can get started for free. Just follow the link in the description box below. Now for tip number four, and that is keeping consistency across platforms. Now this is really important when it comes to branding because sometimes people will find that their branding can differ from platform to platform. And when I say platforms, I mean your website, your social media accounts, depending on which social media account it is, it's really important to keep the branding consistent. You can really do this by choosing particular colors or choosing particular fonts. 
Even having those professional images taken in tip number one, like I mentioned before, is really important and a really easy way to keep that consistency across platforms as well. Having that level of consistent branding across all of your platforms really says to potential clients out there, you're confident in your own branding and marketing yourself. So I think that's really important as well. And then for tip number five, and that is to be clear about what you offer. I think it's really hard for a lot of younger photographers, especially with branding. And that's because more often than not, a lot of photographers when they're younger, especially like to do more than just one genre of photography and this can kind of stifle branding elements it can be really hard to show people what you actually do and be very direct with people about what you do and it is hard sometimes to box ourselves up in a nice little package especially when it comes to branding because as artists and photographers we like to push the boundaries generally we like to have a little bit of freedom with what we're doing but I think there needs to be a level of making sure that you know what you do and making sure that your clients know what you do as well. This can be really helped in many ways but if you are doing more than one genre of photography I think it's really uh, a, an important thing to clarify what you're doing especially between those genres. So even for things like your website it might be worth having separate pages or separate galleries for different styles of photography even different websites altogether. I believe that's a really important part of marketing yourself as a photographer especially and, and with branding is to make sure that you know who you are as a photographer and that other clients can really easily see what you do as well and try it to make it as clear concise and non-confusing as possible and I do believe that this is where all of those branding elements come into effect so having your own website having a bio page having a contact page having your social media accounts and the same colors and fonts and things that can really flow on between platforms overall I think is a really really important tip for this video so guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new today if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure that you do because I'll be posting more content in future. Let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite branding tips are for photographers and I will see you in the next video. Bye!